Hi guys, it's Ash. It's currently 11 p.m. I just got home from radio, but um, something crazy happened to me today, so I just had to sit down and tell you guys about my story. Yeah! So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that after Joan and I had our birthday party last weekend on the 10th, I lost my digital camera. So I had a shopping bag that had my digital camera, disposable camera, and my perfume, and this rainbow LED light thing that I had. And I just completely lost a shopping bag. I don't know where it went. I didn't, I wasn't able to recall where I last saw it either. But the funny thing, the problem was that I was completely sober. So I left or I lost my bag or I thought I lost my bag when I was completely sober and I was so mad at myself. But it was pretty hectic because I had a lot of shopping bags and my friends were offering to hold them for me. So I didn't remember who I gave it to or if I did give it to anybody. And I was also suspecting that while I was waiting for the cab with my friends maybe because we were we had to wait on the streets for a while because there weren't that many cabs maybe I left it on the street because I was tired of holding it and yeah it was only when I got off the cab I realized I didn't have my shopping bag so my friends who are still at Itaewon I called them and I was like can you please go to the restaurant we were at and the lounge that we were at and ask the owners and just ask the workers if they saw a black shopping bag but they didn't find it. They couldn't find it. We um, called the lounge owner and we asked him to look around on the streets as well just in case I left it on the street. And the next day, just for the whole few days after that, I just felt so crappy. And it was such a bad way to end my birthday because everything up until then was perfect. I had so much fun with my friends and I made so many memories. Um, but when I realized that I lost all those memories, I mean, I'll, of course, I'll still have them in my brain and my mind, but I just wanted to be able to look back at them. And that's the reason why I bought disposable cameras because I wanted to actually print them out and save them. And it's the first time I actually lost something very important. So I was very disappointed with myself too. And for the next couple of days, I kept logging on to this website that Korea has. It's like lost112.go.kr. And it's basically if people find something or people lose something, they can report it. So I like logged on to that website every single day, clicked refresh, looked for a digital camera. And I went through pages and pages and pages and it never came up this morning i finally decided to just give up and accept the fact that i lost my digital camera and my disposable camera and all the pictures and memories and footages from my birthday that i had so i was like you know what what's done is done this is my fault i'll learn from it i guess um i actually got footages from my birthday from christine who was nice enough to give them to me and she was like oh you know it's your birthday you should have your footages and uh, i borrowed a camera from joan because she's actually leaving korea for two weeks so i was all prepared and i was going to film a video today explaining to you guys how i lost the camera and why my vlog this month is going to look very empty because i don't have certain footages from certain days and i was just going to fill it up with all the snapchat videos i took that i had on my phone because obviously i didn't have any special videos from my camera so I was just like very bummed about that, but I was like, you know, what can I do? Just gotta move on, right? Because I strongly believed that I left it on the street and I was probably like, someone picked it up. But I was just like, I just want my disposable camera back and I just wish they could just send me the pictures and videos from the digital camera. I just want to have them. Like, you can keep the camera, like for real. Just give me the footages, the videos and the pictures, all the memories. And I would, I would have been fine. Like, I wouldn't have cared, but I knew, I knew that was going to be impossible. And also kept saying like if you found a digital camera and you looked through the pictures and you saw like you know all those pictures with their friends and memories and like birthday stuff wouldn't you give it back and i was like i'll give it back why isn't this person giving it back to me and i was like ugh, you know what this is my fault and out of all places i left it in itaewon which is very crowded <sighs> whatever and this morning all of a sudden i got a call from a random number and usually i wouldn't pick up you know calls from random numbers because usually they can be spam or voice phishing but then i picked up and then the lady was like oh uh, hi i'm an employee at this bank and she was like did you lose something last week and i was like oh, my heart literally dropped and i was like yes yes what, 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 what's going on and she was like oh i got a call from a cab driver saying that she found your uh, your digital camera and your cameras and they found a receipt in there and i was like 
what? I was like, no, 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 but do your toy. Yeah, it's me, it's me. I lost my camera, that's me. And she was like, okay, I'm gonna give you the driver's number and his name, and you gotta call him and talk to him. So I was like, no, come stop me, but thank you, thank you so much. And I hung up, and then I immediately called the number that I received, and I was like, hello, and I was like, oh, hi, I'm the person that uh, lost the camera. And he was like, so he was like, oh, you know what I went through to find you? Like I've been looking for the past 10 days, the owner of this camera. And I was like, oh my god, how did you find me? And then apparently um, after he dropped me off, he picked up a foreigner and he dropped the foreigner off at a hotel. You know, he discovered the shopping bag after she got off, so he thought it belonged to her. So he went back to the hotel, he talked to the people at the lobby desk and he was like, you know, someone left this on my shopping bag and I think she's staying here. So please, can you find the owner of this? So he took a picture of everything and he gave it to them. And then a few days later, the hotel called him back, uh, called him back, and he was like, "Oh, sorry, I don't think the owner for this bag is here." So he got the shopping bag back, and he was like, "Oh, what do I do? How can I find it?" And then uh, he needed clues to find out who the owner of this was. So he decided to go through my pictures, and he saw that I was like a Korean girl, not a foreigner. He was like, "Oh, so it wasn't a foreigner. Who was it?" And then the crazy thing is, in the shopping bag. Um, I had a perfume, a disposable camera, my Sony digital camera, and this LED light thing that I got as a gift that I was using at the party. It's just like, it's this cool thing you guys probably saw in my um, videos, like it emits light. Okay, you can't really see that well because it's really bright in here. But yeah, something like this. And um, my perfume, but that got lost. And he says he thinks it's um, when he dropped it off at the hotel, maybe someone took it. But I'm not, I'm not complaining. It was like a cheap one. I don't really care. I don't really care about losing my perfume. But then the crazy thing is before our birthday party, Joan and I went to eat hamburgers, right? And seriously, like 99.999% of the times when I get receipts from restaurants, I always ask them to throw it out or I receive it and then I throw it out, right? Because, I mean, unless it's clothes that I think I might return, like restaurants, like you don't really need receipts. So I never take the receipts from the restaurants, but instead of throwing it out, I just put it in the shopping bag, which I still can't believe, like... How the heck out of all those days, out of all those times I went to the restaurant, this, this one time, I received the receipt and I put it in my shopping bag. And not even my purse, not even the bag that I was holding on to, my shopping bag. And I was just like, wow. Like, if it wasn't for this, he wouldn't have found me. Because on this, it says the card number, um, it says the name of the card company. He was, wow. I can't believe all the things that this cab driver went through just to find me like I was so touched because not a lot of people would spend all that time and effort and energy calling this card company and he actually called this card company starting on Monday and I actually received it today like three hours ago and of course I had to compensate him because he went through so much I you know I wish I could have like given him more because I was so thankful he went through so much for me and he was just very cool about it. He was just like, oh, here, of course I have to give it back. And I was like, oh, oh, that's so sweet. And like, he was inside the car and I was like, can you get off? I want to give you a hug. And he kind of looked at me, we were like, oh, no thanks. So I was just like, I just held his hands and I was like, thank you so much. Like, you're an angel. And I was just like, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And wow i still can't believe it happened to me and that's why this vlog was really late too because i kept hoping that i might be able to find my camera and my disposable stuff so i was just i just kept putting it off i was like no i might be able to find it so let me just wait a little more but i essentially like really gave up i was just like you know there's no way i'll be able to find this I got so lucky and I just think it's so crazy how it all worked out. I never get receipts. Like that day I just happened to get it and put it in my shopping bag. And this cab driver, instead of just throwing it away or selling it or giving it to somebody else, like he went through all this to try to find me because he knew how, you know, upset I must have been losing all the pictures and stuff like that. So I was like so grateful and it made me realize there's still kindness in this world and it restored my faith in humanity 
I was just like, if I ever find anything on the streets, I'm definitely gonna return them to its respectful owner. So if you guys ever come to Korea and if you guys lose something too, I definitely recommend going on the website that I mentioned before too because surprisingly a lot of items come up like bags and like passports and phones and cameras and all that stuff. You never know so if you do lose something, I think you should definitely check the site out. And thank you to the taxi driver. <gasps> oh, I can't believe this. I still can't. <sighs> I can't wait to get these pictures developed. Oh my gosh, we took so many fun pictures with these. I can't wait. I can't wait, guys. All right, so thank you so much again to the taxi driver. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying this over and over again, but seriously, I got really lucky. I got really lucky. I'm so thankful. Seriously. Whew. I know you guys probably think like, oh my gosh, just get over it, Ashley. It's not that big of a deal. But it's really a big deal to me because I just, as soon as I gave up and as soon as I just kind of like let it go, like it just came back to my life. Maybe sometimes you just need to let things go for them to just come back to you. All right. So without further ado, let me show you guys my vlog for this month. We did a lot of stuff. I got a matching tattoo with Joan. I had Joan's birthday brunch and then I had my birthday lunch. And then we had a birthday party together and a lot more stuff. So let's get started on the vlog. Hi, Oompa. Hi. Oompa. Hi. He's our tattooist. Oh, you Ooh, this lighting makes you glow. You look so good here. It's actually my Joan Day and Night Cream every oh, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. We need to get tatted. We just picked up the design. We're gonna place it to see if I like it and then I go on with it. Oh my god. Mom for getting another tattoo. Perfect for Sujong. I like that. Yeah? These are his artworks. So nice. Seriously, this is the most aesthetically pleasing tattoo studio I've ever been to. I know. It's so spacious. Are you ready? No, she's not. She's really scared right now. <laughs> now she's ready. Was <laughs> ill. Oh, yeah. Oh, Show us. <laughs> You're like. Oh my gosh, it gets small when you move your thing. The tulip tattoo did it. Look, you did that one. How do you feel? I feel good. Are you satisfied with the placement of your tattoo? Yes. We were originally going to get it here, but too much traffic area, so he said we shouldn't get it on the finger. Finally starting. Surely lash is no more. Maybe because the needle's thicker? Alright, I'm not getting mine today. <laughs> Just kidding. Ashley, how is it? Talk to me. Okay. Oh, I'm <laughs> right, leaving the room now. Do you see my hand right now? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, she's really not having it right now. Finally! Oh my gosh. It's like a sticker, right? Yeah. It looks perfect. It's crazy. It's so She does not want to do it. <laughs> wow. 
You like? Wow! It looks really good. It's like so red in that area. Yay! Love it. Love it. Oh, no, you have There's a dog cafe right across the street, so you can see how it's fun! Oh my god! It must be so awesome to work here because if you're bored, you can just look outside and look at all these doggies. Oh my god, they're so cute. It's Joan's turn now. She's getting it behind the ear. It looks painful just looking at it. This is my finished tattoo. Looks like a sticker. Cute. Thank you. We are at Luxapyeong now, and Joan's really afraid of heights. So look at her. What's okay. It's not that high. Oh my god, I can't. It's not that high. Got all the movements right now. My hands are sweaty. My face. Hey, coming here. Hi everyone! Guys, it's November 6th, which means it's Joan's birthday! Woo! Happy birthday, Joan, if you're watching this. Uh, we're meeting for brunch and I came out to get her cake. So I'm at Napoleon Bakery. One of my favorite bakeries. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Kokoma. I would get that for myself. Oh my god, there's so many choices. What do I get? Christine told me to get the sweet potato one because Joan likes sweet potato cake from another brand, but I was like, she's so gonna think I got it for myself. She's gonna be like, Ashley, you just got that one because you wanted to eat it, right? So I was like, I'll just get the choco banana. That looks the best. I hope she likes it. That's the cake right there. <laughs> Got my cake! This is where we're having lunch. Pimir, they recently opened up another oh, location here. Pimir, is it like a secret? Yeah. Is that all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have one in Itaewon, but. Ooh. Ooh, so bright in here. I love it. Christine, hi! Christine and I are here earlier. It's 11.20. We're meeting up at 11.30. We were worried that Joan was gonna come earlier because she's been so diligent these days I and know. she's been coming so early but thankfully today she's just right on time. Joan's signature and her handwriting that says have a Joan day and night. <gasps> so pretty. Green and purple. Green and purple Barney. Barney colors. Love it. Love it. <laughs> I couldn't make it, but here's my card. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. I love it. Thank you. Look at the view of the foliage, the colors. It's November 9th, it's my birthday! Yay! <laughs> We're currently going to eat lunch right now. I'm with Junie. Soy some <laughs> Yay! And we're gonna meet up with Joan and Christine as well. We're gonna have a girls' brunch for my birthday! The sky is amazing today. I'm so happy. This is where we're going. Oh, no, no. Oh. Cute. 
we're here inside the restaurant. We're waiting for Joan and Christine right now. I'm so excited. This is going to be really good. It's just that it's really quiet here. And I know we're going to be really loud because, you know, five girls. Hi, Joan! Hi! Thank you for being on time. Thank you. Everyone's here now. The, the makolis, <coughs> the appetizer. This looks delicious. I got the bibimbap bobs because I love bibimbap. What's a robot's favorite food? Bibimbap. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we all got you something. Oh my gosh, what is this? Hope you like it. I hope you like it. Thank you. Just like, go. Oh. <laughs> right? It's so pretty, right? I'm so pretty. 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 <laughs> the Soul Squad got me this cute stuff. Thank you, Joan, Christine, Michael, Eddie, Peniel, Corey, Thank you. Alex, Alex, love you, Alex. <laughs> Thank you. We're done eating now. Let's <laughs> Go to Green Mall Coffee. <laughs> we took a lot of pictures here on the rooftop because it's so pretty. Um, and now it's time to go back to practice, sadly. But it's so pretty here. Aww. The yellow background. Let's go to Pee Pee. We have America. Mm. Yeah. That looks delish. That looks delish. <laughs> I like looking for all the crunchy ones first and then I like punch for the crunchy ones. Music video. Oh 